Okay, my name's Ben Annitz and I'm the Sales and Marketing Director for Barclays Southern and we're based in Leatherhead in Surrey. Um, how can young people best prepare themselves for work? There's two things to think about. Clearly, getting qualifications, you know, getting the basic qualifications to prepare themselves for work is important, but also coming along and being able to show an aptitude for work, you know, a willingness to work and wanting to get across their personality when they're doing the job. That's, all, that's as, as important as the qualifications from, from our point of view at Barclay. What are the most important employability skills in your opinion? We're, we're, we're a big construction company, so there are two facets. There are two facets to our business. The first element of the job is that we have to build the houses. So for the guys and the ladies that build the houses, it's important that they have the basic construction skills, um, that they've passed all their qualifications, the NVQ skills, and that they've got good job experience. Um, we take a lot of people on on apprentices, and we train and we train them up through on the job working combined with working and going to college on a regular basis as well. On the sales and marketing side, and this is when we actually sell the houses to, to, you know, to the general public, it's about finding people that can communicate. So it's less about having lots and lots of fantastic qualifications, it's about being able to talk to people, it's being able to listen to people to understand what people want and be able to try and match what we have to sell to what they actually want to buy and to do that in a, in a friendly and a professional manner. And what we try and do is we, we train people to do that but we also look to focus on key individuals personality points. So it might be that somebody is very good with younger, you know, with younger people and that person can concentrate on working with say first time buyers that are in the marketplace. It might be that somebody has a particular you know, works can communicate well with older people, and they, you know, they can talk well to those sorts of people. So we try and sort of match people to the different sort of types of, of customers that we actually have. So it's yes, qualifications are important, but it's being able to communicate and use your personality to get get our message across to our potential customers. Okay. What qualifications and experience would a young person need to have to increase their chance of getting a job in your sector? In the sector that I'm particularly responsible for, which is the sales and marketing side, it would be the basics, so it would be your basic mathematics, it would be English, so your basic qualifications that you come out of uh, school with at the age of, at the age of 16. Um, it then is more about the type of person you are and your social skills and your ability to communicate and, under, and understand people. Um, on the construction side, it is again about having those basic qualifications coming out of school and then being and then going on to the professional qualifications in things like the trades. So by the trades I mean bricklaying, plastering, carpentry, electricians. And that's what obviously people go on from school at the age of 16 and they go on to colleges and start doing their NVQ qualifications and, and then moving on into apprenticeships and then moving on into actual employment. What kind of work experience is it to help young people prepare for a job in your sector? In our sector, and again referring primarily to the sales and marketing side, and you can see here, you know, the sort of thing that we actually do is actually getting young people to go and work alongside our existing sales teams in our sales and marketing suites. So it's going along, observing and actually being part of the process that we actually go through with our customers on a day-to-day -day basis. To actually train for that on the, on, on the first day is very difficult. It's a lot about observing and then gradually after a period of observation we will then start to encourage younger people that are with us for training and work experience to actually start getting involved with the customers because at the end of the day the best training from our point of view is on the job training with real customers in real time. What, why did you choose to work for this company? I chose to work for Barclay uh, because it's a market leader. Uh, it builds great product as you can see here and also the customer service element is 
extremely strong within the organization. You know, we, we are about delivering an excellent product to our customers, but also providing excellent customer service throughout the sales process and then afterwards. That's really the reason why I joined Barclay. It is a market leader and it is a great company to work for with a lot of opportunity. Um, and, we, uh, and we take people that work for us on that journey as well, that they buy into what we're about, they buy into the ethos of the company. And we promote people from within and we promote people, people's careers. What is your most valued skill or skills? Personally? Yeah. For me personally, it's being able to communicate with people. Um, it's being able to listen listen to people, what people want, listen to their opinions, and then be able to get over what I want to say in a manner that suits their personality and the type of customer that they actually are. So I would say for me, it's listening and then communication. What information do you look for, for on a young person CV? We look for um, good quality personal information in terms of you know, what they've actually achieved through their, through their schooling years, but we also look for interesting information about what they've done within their school life that might be slightly outside you know, the rigid structure of just passing, passing exams, so looking for something interesting that we can latch on to that we think might have some synergy with what we actually do as a business. What we also look for as well is some sort of something that's interesting about that person from maybe their personal um, their personal hobbies and what they like to enjoy enjoy and what their aspirations are. What would a typical or average day look like? What kind of task would I be involved with? Okay, on a sales and, on a sales and marketing job, um, the day runs from half past nine in the morning to half past five in the evening. Okay. You'd be responsible for opening up our show homes, making sure that our products, our, our houses are presented correctly. You'd be responsible for dealing with customers as they come into our sales and marketing suites, talking to them about what they actually, what they actually require, what sort of house or apartment they want to buy. You'd be then showing them around the show homes and trying to, sh to show them something that actually might suit them and their family to actually live in that they can afford and that potentially actually matches their, their lifestyle. So working on a face-to-face -face basis with the customers takes up probably 60% of, of the time. There's also quite a strong element of inputting their information then onto our database and being able to um, create tasks so that once those people leave the site, you can create tasks for yourself for two or three or four days later to actually get on the telephone and ring them back and get some feedback about what they thought about the house and whether or not they want to come back and have a look again or they might be interested in buying that particular property. So again, there's a lot of work that's done on the computer operating our, operating our databases. And then there's also interaction with the guys that build our houses as well. You know, it's working with you know, if a customer wants a particular thing done to a particular house, you would be, be able to go and talk to the build team and see whether or not that is possible and then potentially communicate that to the, to the, the customer. So it's a very varied, varied day. It's not just about being sat at, you know, sat at a desk staring at a computer screen. It's out there talking to people, walking around the homes and actually listening to people and trying to match what they want with actually what we've got for sale.